Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Kahlberg. Today we're going to be having a look at some of the overnight trading that happened in the States on the major indices. And this was largely on the back of important CPI figures being released. Now, as we know, inflation has been a hot topic of conversation and a problem that Fed, the Federal Reserve and Chairman Jerome Powell have been pretty aggressive in trying to get on top of with quite large rate hikes. With the figures coming in, the the month-on-month CPI figures coming in at 0.4% or 0.2% higher than expected, year-on-year CPI figures coming in at 8.2%, 0.1% higher than expected, and the core CPI figures coming in at 0.6%, which was 0.2% higher than expected, one would have thought that the market may have fallen due to these quite um, hot inflation figures and expected increases in the next cash rate um, cash rate from the Fed. Now, this is all but cemented a 75% hike with the potential maybe even of going higher. However, the markets didn't actually slip. In fact, they rallied, and this can largely be due, seen due to the large short covering that occurred, mainly because of high, <clears throat> high put-to-call ratios and also just general short covering. So as we can see, the market rallied almost 5% from its gap down and 1,500 points, which is an insane move for the Dow, for the Dow and we're just gonna have a closer look. So as we can see, we've rallied um, pretty significantly, fallen off this bottom here. And you know whether this continues tonight and there's further short covering, we'll have to wait and see, or whether it's just a bull trap and we end up falling further back down one again still to be seen but if the pro, if the index can take out 3000 uh, 3450 30000 rather 450 points we may see significant move see a significant pushback to the upside potentially with the move going all the way to 33 32500 or 32475 or 34500 points now as we have a look at the weekly chart it makes it brings for a really interesting um, bit of price action. So as we can see, um, just bear with me. What we can see is that we've got this kind of bottom here, and we're at, we are sitting just on the two hundred week moving average, which is in a really important area. So are we going to see a move that breaks through this um, resistance and pushes back up? Or are we going to fall back down and go through to the new lows? And that's, again, what we're waiting to see. It is important to remember that we are still just sitting on this, um, we're on this long-term kind of support zone here on the weekly. So it will require quite a bit, quite a bit of selling to get through. And perhaps, you know, some extremely hot inflation figures maybe to come in in the next month. As we move out from the Dow and we just check in on the other indices, we, as we can tell, similar moves occurred. So we've got, again, a similar move on the S&P 500. Also waiting to see perhaps if we can get through to 38,810 as our next kind of resistance level. And on the NASDAQ, again, same kind of price action. We're just wanting to see if we can get to this point at 11,680 as our next or 11,654 as our next level of resistance. But there you go, guys. Obviously, some potential opportunities to capitalize on this rally if it, to, if it looks like it's going to continue tonight. If not, perhaps sell into the news or sell into the morning and watch this big move down. But definitely one to watch. And also as a more broad um, indication of the market as a whole. There you go, guys. Thanks for watching and good luck trading.